power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. All right, let's go and dig, y'all. There's a few nuggets here. And I heard, this is really when he uses the word and in the text, it's a carryover from the previous verse. And I heard another out of the altar say, I heard a voice out of the altar say, I'm going to stop right there. I want to ask a question. The text says, I heard another voice. I heard another out of the altar say, who is the possibly, who did he hear, who did he come from? Who did he come from? The first of the eye in the text is John. John says, I heard another out of the altar say, who did John hear say? He says, I heard another out of the altar say, who is, who could it possibly be? Go ahead, I, I saw your face. Let's go this way. And I heard another out of the altar say, I said, should have been translated. And I heard the altar say, referring to those who have been murdered by the Antichrist. Okay, stop. What Minister Brenda just read could possibly be the voices of those who have been martyred. By the Antichrist. Possibly. Here's the voice from those who were killed or martyred by the Antichrist. Because they did not take the mark of the beast. And as we read previous chapters, previous verses, that how that those, let me say it like this, who did not make the rapture? <laughs> I got to deal with that for a moment. Those that did not take the rapture. <laughs> they were left behind. Now I want to say something. I just learned something the other day. I'm going to take myself back a little bit. Those that are left behind are going to go through the tribulation period. But let me make something clear. Doesn't mean that those who go through the tribulation period, period won't be saved. It is going to be harder in the tribulation period. But there will be some who will make it. But it will be harder. More difficult. To make it. But there will be some. Because the Bible says. It's not the will of God that any should perish. Even though you didn't make the, the rapture. God still will give you opportunity. Look at God's love. God will still allow you the opportunity. To still be saved. And still make it in. Although, I want to make it clear, although it's going to be harder, but you will have the opportunity to make it in. <laughs> Isn't that a loving God? <laughs> because you, you messed up, you kept seeing it and all that, but he still allows you and I, persons, to still make it in. Oh, a loving God we have. Will you do that part, Sister Brenda? The whole verse? Yeah. No, 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 not yet, not yet. But it can't look at after that. Well, hold that, hold that, hold that. Let me finish the rest of the verse. Hold that, because I, I, I think I know where you're going. <laughs> hold that. You got your place there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, wonderful, marvelous. And remind me if I forget. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and watch this. And also, Mr. Brenda just read, it could possibly be those who were martyred. Speaking from the altar. But also, there's another possibility. It could possibly be another angel. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> possibility, another angel 
who's speaking at this point, speaking at this time. So if that's the case, woo, I see you. <laughs> if, that, if that's the case, it means that this angel had to be at the altar. <laughs> to speak for those who were, who were martyred, who were killed for not taking the mark of the beast. Oh, wow. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> Go ahead. Talk to me. Uh, Revelation five, six and nine. Uh huh. <laughs> I saw. Hold on for you, read. I saw your face expression. I, come on, hurry up, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. And, and she took us back to previous chapters that we have already talked about. About those who were martyred at, uh, uh, at the altar. Those who were at the altar that were already martyred, rather. Uh, what did she get? It's really 9 through 11. It sure is. <laughs> Go ahead. Hold on, hold on. They're not so much at the altar. They are under the altar. <laughs> I want to make that clear. They're under the altar. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Cry with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord? Holy and true. <laughs> hold on, 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 hold on. Watch these who are under the altar. They're describing God as being what? Holy and true. Which is what we see. Well, I just might take that. Hold on, hold that thought. Watch the rest of this. Even so, Lord God Almighty, I'll talk about that, about that in a moment. True and righteous are thy judgments. As I talked last week, it seems cruel with the blood and the rivers and the streams. In the oceans, nothing but blood. And then we saw in chapter, uh, 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 the chapter uh, verse 2, rather, of the sores, how it was so bad. It was worse than Job's sores. It had a stench to it. And also the blood of water had a stench to it. So, number one, judgment. Number two, the blood in the oceans. Number three, the blood in the rivers, fountains, or streams, and I will give it four in a minute. <laughs> All this is going on. And what, what the witnesses are saying, your judgment is righteous and true. The word true in the text means it is genuine. It is a genuine, authentic, rightfulness, justice, of your judgment upon the people. Why? You have allowed them the chance and the opportunity and they did not gravitate to the opportunity. Did not gravitate to the chance to be redeemed. And so since they did not take the opportunity to heart, that judgment is just for those persons. Keep reading this, Minister Brennan. Pertains to far more than a cry for vengeance. More than anything else, it is a cry for the entire episode of sin and shame 
to the end. It is a... Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. That cry is really not for justice. She played the red. The cry is for sin. Sin and shame. Sin against God and shaming God. That's what she's read. It's not for their justice for being martyred. What they're saying is it really doesn't matter about our, 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 our martyr because we, we're going to live anyway. It's about the justice of sin and the shame of sin. <laughs> Keep going. It is a culmination of the cry of the ages. Do you not judge and revenge and avenge our blood on them who dwell on the earth? Now they're talking about avenging. First was talking about the sin. Now we're going to, they're talking about avenge. Go ahead. It is certain that the Lord will judge mm -hmm. and avenge. Matthew 12 and 36. That's correct. Yeah, go ahead and deliver. And the white robes were given unto every one of them, symbolizing and righteousness of the saints. Revelation 19 and 8. And it was and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season mm -hmm. until their fellow servants also and their brethren. Who should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. They will have to wait until the conclusion of the great tribulation, probably about another five years. <laughs> this right here. This first part right here, this A section of this, is all that we're doing was affirming and confirming what has already been said by the angels previously. That God is true and righteous. They just affirm it. From the, under the altar. They affirm it. But I want to deal with this. Is it even so? The Lord all Lord God Almighty. Anybody know what the word Almighty means? The Lord God Almighty. There are two specific words I'm looking for in the definition of Almighty. Anybody, anyone, anyone, anyone to take a stab at it? I'll say it like that. Hmm? Great. Okay. I'm gonna, in a minute, I'm going to connect your word with something else. Sister Loretta. What did you, you say? I was going to um, you know, your hand. Yes. 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 Yeah, that's, that's one of them. Because when you see the word Almighty, you see Almighty in, in, in Genesis chapter 17. Also, you see it in verse number one, where it talks about him being almighty, which means all-sufficient one. Anybody else? Huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Okay. I want to connect with Sister Loretta. She said great. I want to connect great with all powerful. He's great that he has all power. <laughs> he's, he, he's all sufficient. Goes back to he met the needs of Abraham. And that's where El Shaddai comes from. All sufficient. He's all, basically what, uh, what uh, Abraham was saying, he's all I need and he's all I got. And I think some of us can identify with that. He's all I got. And, and also, he's all I need. He's all sufficient for what I need. Because all stuff is going on nowadays, and all we need is Jesus. <laughs> and all we got is Jesus. People will let you down. Family will let you down. But I read in the Bible that God will never let you down. 
The Bible says he will never leave you nor will he forsake you. He will never abandon you. How bad our situation ever gets, God will never leave us nor forsake us. <laughs> never, never, never. And sometimes it gets bad and it looks like, y'all catch what I just said, it looks like, seems like, he has abandoned us. But in all reality and time, he has not abandoned us. <laughs> he has not left us alone. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 17 and 1. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. Uh, listen to this. Those who reject his provision, I want to say that, those who reject, forsake, or reject his provision for salvation <laughs> Through the blood of Jesus Christ must be punished. Those who reject the provision of the blood of Jesus Christ must be punished. In other words, sin must be dealt with. <laughs> Woo, Jesus. Those who do not deal with, watch it, those who do not deal with their sin at the cross by confessing it and accepting God's forgiveness must have their sin dealt with in judgment. Now I want to go back for just a moment. Those who do not deal with their sin. What I mean by when I say deal with their sin, I mean those who do not confess their sins will have their sin or them being dealt with. Wow. Anybody else? Any, any add-ons to seven? If I go to eight. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And, and, and as you say that, I'm listening to you very attentively. Sin has power. <laughs> let's don't, let's don't, let's don't, let's don't, let's don't get it twisted. Sin has power. And sin in its power will also please the flesh. <laughs> it will please the human nature. Because the human nature does not want to change. And so, the devil and sin knows that, are aware of that, and will cause one to be blinded by what the chance or the number of chances they have received. Because it's so pleasurable to be in sin. <laughs> it's so comfortable to be in sin. Because if I'm going to be saved, it's going to cause some, some work. And sin will cause you to be spiritually lazy. <laughs> and so when, for me to maintain my salvation, I got to work. Because I know the enemy does not want me to stay saved. He, well, number one, he does not want me to make it to heaven. Can I just tell us something? He has been to heaven. He knows what heaven is like. He knows how beautiful heaven is. He knows how gorgeous heaven is. He knows how terrific heaven is. He knows how brilliant heaven is. I'm just trying to use all those, those uh, 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 adjectives. He knows all this is, is heaven's life. And so if he can stop the saints 
from making to the prepared place for prepared, y'all catch that, prepared place for prepared people, he'll try to stop them. Jesus said in John, be 14, he says, I go away and I prepare for you a mansion. And that where I am, there ye may be also. It's a place for prepared people. And the enemy and sin does not want us to be prepared for the place that God has made for us. Wow. <laughs> Anybody else? Okay. I'll run to eight then. Let me read this. This is what the NIV says in verse number seven. John says, I heard the altar respond. Yes, Lord. God Almighty, true and just, are your judgments. <laughs> the altar responds. <laughs> it's almost like responsive reading. <laughs> the, under the altar, they, res they respond and confirm and affirm what has already been said. <laughs> wow. I'm going to, are you scratching? <laughs> I, I told y'all, I see some blood. <laughs> Go ahead. Scorch or burn men. 
What? With fire. <laughs> With fire. Wow. This miracle of judgment will be accomplished by the power of God. Listen to this. Fire in the Bible often speaks of judgment. Someone get Isaiah 24 and 6. And someone else get Malachi 4 and 1. And you get Isaiah 24 and 6. Read it, please. This is judgment of fire. Hold on, hold on. The curse. Yeah. Catch that curse. Tell me something. What translation you read? King James version. Okay. King Jimmy. King James. It's not a different version. It's the King James said a curse. Yeah. <laughs> Keep reading. Therefore have the curse devour the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitations of the earth are burned. And few men left. Few men left. Devastation of fire. The curse of fire burned almost everything and everybody. And as I stated previously, reading this book of Revelations, if there is no transformation, you don't want to be saved. <laughs> because he talks about, he's showing us What's going on in the tribulation period? Which ought to help us try to make it with God's help to the rapture. <laughs> rapture, out, rapture up out of here. <laughs> because let me go to, to uh, Matthew chapter 24. And we said in Sunday school, matter of fact, a few weeks ago. It says, two will be grinding at the meal. One will be left. And the, what you said, and the other will be taken. Amen. Two in the bed. One will be taken and one will be left. Can I say it like this? The great snatch. <laughs> the rapture. Yeah. Meaning the one that was taken, well, the one was doing right. And the one that was left behind did not pay attention to the warnings. Wow. Wow. That was it. 24, right? Yes. Okay. Who's got Malachi 4 uh, and 1? Malachi 4 and 1. New King James Version. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven. Hold that for me. She used the word Behold. That word behold means look, see. The day is coming. Huh? Okay. And so really, it's a, it's a warning. Amen. Literally a warning. Keep reading. Burning like an oven. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Burning like an oven. Have you ever, and I know you have, but I just want to say it like this. Have you ever been had your oven on, let me do it like this, 450. Because you know most of us 400, 450 in some of the neighborhood. <laughs> and have you ever just stuck your, because you had to preheat. <laughs> preheat your oven before you stick something in the oven. And have you preheated 400, 425, 450, whatever. And when you put in what you got in there, it's so hot, you feel it. And she's just red, Mr. Chapter Red. Just like an oven. Hot like an oven. Continue, please. And all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubble. And the day which is coming shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts. That will leave them neither root nor branch. He's literally saying everything will be burned up. Amen. Everything. 
will be burned up. And it will be as hot as an oven. Everything will be burned, burned up. There will be, what's this? It, there will be nothing left. Nothing left. Everything will be burned up. Wow. Mm. The fire here will aggravate the suffering caused by the ulcerated sores on the skin. This is the heat of those who take the mark of the beast. <laughs> Listen to me. Wow. This is what will happen. We don't have here and you take the mark of the beast. This is what is going to happen. Wow. Anybody else got to add on? Comment? Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> you can't, you don't, it's, it's over with, it's, and you don't have to live out what you live out, but just that, you don't, you don't see it, and that's not the time you want to see it. So, okay, oh, now I see. Yes. <laughs> well, they did. That's what I was supposed to do, you know. You know, I've been seeing that, that the scripture, like, yeah. you know, oh, behold, which uh -huh. means behold, yeah, everyone's going to see it. Yeah. No matter where you're at, you're going to see it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it's his power because he's given the power and authority to affect the sun to cause a fire and burn. Yes, and all of these four angels have been given the power to do their deed. Yes, wow, <laughs> by God. <laughs> yes, ma'am. What you said? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 You just said something. Just, just stare something up at me. The weatherman said, "Go get some shade. Watch this to where you cool off." But Mr. Travis read, Mr. Uh, Freeman read, everything will be burned up. You ain't gonna have a tree, no tree for shade. <laughs> there will be no shade. There will be no cooling off. Because <laughs> the shade tree will be burned up. <laughs> wow. Yes, ma'am. And I got you. <laughs> I saw both of y'all. <laughs> I thought better say that. Great global warming. Yes. Then you hear about that. The weather maker tell you one thing. It's gonna be it's already written, but it's gonna be. Yes. Yes. Now you said that. <laughs> you made me go up there earlier. Hang, hang on. <laughs> because I thought about global warming right now. <laughs> Even in in, 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 in in the Arctic, the ice in some areas have melted. I will say this, the Bible will say this, this is me saying this, okay, what I'm just saying. That's just the start of it. I think. Global warming. What always was icy is I, the ice is slowly melting because of global warming. Again, me. I think God is warning us now. And the thing I want to say, are we adhering to the warning that is given us with global warming? <laughs> Guess what else? Thank you, Lord. He's also given us other warnings with all these plagues <laughs> that are going on now. And some of the plagues, doctors don't even know the cure for them. Wow. Oh, no. Go ahead. I'm going to talk about you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
Yes. And he's angel coming back soon. Ain't no regrowth. No. That's it. Yes, totally. Yes, yes, that's it. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all working it out real good, y'all. Y'all working it out real good tonight, y'all. <laughs> Mr. Mary. The thing, the thing I want to say about it, it's causing all these plagues, you know? Mm -hmm. And it ain't anything or nothing. Nobody can do about it. Mm -hmm. You know what yes. I'm mean? saying? It ain't, it, he, he has the final say, though. That's right. And nobody else offer what you do, what you say. That's it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. The burden has been saved. Right. 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 <laughs> Let me just do it like a court of law. The burden right. has been done. Right. Guilty. Mm -hmm. As charged. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Right. And they go one, they say it's going to go one way, it's going to go another. Mm -hmm. and, and I can't help but think, mm -hmm. well, guys, you, you, you know, I don't know if you're about to not, but that's weird. It took a little time to sign, you know, sign time. Yes. Right. Well, the reason is why I can't deny it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, God said this. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Y'all bring that. Y'all bring that good points. Y'all bring that great points. Yes. It's a sign of time. And let me connect with you just a moment. The meteorologist has a meteorologist machine, and God has outsmarted the meteorologist machine. <laughs> and the meteorologist. <laughs> God said, I'm still in control. You got this device, and it still don't know what to really do. <laughs> and you, who's talking about the weather, are baffled and puzzled, and you don't know how to explain it. Even, your, even with your machine and your device, you don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> huh? Because he's almighty. <laughs> he's great. As the Lord said earlier, he's great. And all of his doings, he's great. All powerful. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's why he said he's true and right. right? Yes. And the judgment. Yes. Because whatever he wants to judge, it, it, it's true. Yes. It, it, Yes. 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 It's it's right. Yes. You you might not like it. It's that right now. See what I'm saying? Yes. Whatever he say, it's it's confirmed. Yes. Yes. Not his word. Yes. Ain't that nothing I can do about it? No. 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 Can't even. Can't. Like what he say? You know because of what the word say, and sometimes we try to arrange it some other way. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Fix our yes. Fix our, our style. Fix uh -huh. our whatever situation we, we get. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh -uh. Can't change it. Right. <laughs> it's, it's the same. Mm -hmm. I got you. It's the same. It's in stone. <laughs> it's in stone, y'all. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes. He said, okay, well, you didn't read it, you don't see it, or you didn't believe it in yeah. Revelation, it's done. Yes. And he came back and said, the verb is in. Yeah. It is so important for us to truly read the book. Exactly. And adhere to the book. Never say this. It means nothing to read it and not adhere to it. We can read it all day long, but until we adhere to it and gravitate to it, to where we operate in what we read, it really is doing us no good. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else? Go ahead. And the fourth angel poured out his vow upon the sun, refers to that which is totally beyond the scope of man. And power was given unto him to scorch men with fire, as to the bulls, and as well. I got to see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. But, well, continue. The problem of the water source. Every 
began the sun at that time will pour out more heat on earth on the earth than ever before. As well, it seems this plague will also be confined to the generalized area of the Antichrist. If that is the case, the Lord will have to stop the heat from affecting other parts of the globe. That's serious. <laughs> That's serious. Yes. I need someone to get Psalms 119 and uh, 137. The psalmist is also confirming God's judgments as being right and true. Psalms 119 and 137. Psalm 119, 137, New American Standard reads, Righteous are you, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. Righteous are you, and upright are your judgments. <laughs> All the psalmist did was affirming what Revelation is talking about. <laughs> Old Testament to the New Testament. <laughs> wow. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. I have a cross on the scriptures, and this is the scripture, uh, I believe, correct if I'm wrong, and this uh, encourages us as far as we talk about justice, that this is what God is requiring of us to do it also, to, to do it right, which is uh, to judge righteous, uh, which is Michael, I'm sorry, 6 and 8. Uh, yes, and he has shown thee, O oh man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of thee, but to do justice, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. That word, just, he said justice, just. means walk rightly. Amen. That's what that means. Walk rightly. <laughs> he gives us instructions of how we should walk how we should do. He gives us all that. Yes. Anybody else? Okay. I'm going to read this in I be verse 8 and I'm done. The fourth angel poured out his bow on the sun and the sun was, and the sun was allowed to scorch people with fire. The sun was allowed to scorch people with fire. Burn people with fire. Wow. All right. Nothing else? I'm done. We'll look next week at uh, verse 9 and 10 next week. Yes. We'll look at verse 10. We'll talk about Look, we'll talk about the fifth angel, the fifth vow, the fifth bow next week. God bless you. God keep you. Thank you for your inputs. Great inputs. Great inputs. Thank you so much for your inputs. God bless you. And I'm going to say this while I'm thinking about it. Happy Thanksgiving to one and all. Happy Thanksgiving. We have a great, marvelous, terrific Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, we're going to pray. We look to the Lord. We got uh, some prayer requests here. Uh, there been some who have given me some as well. We got a list here. Uh, Peter Parks, uh, Mother Parks, and uh, Mother Gentry. Uh, uh, Josephine Shaw, uh, Linda Francis. Uh, I want to also want to also make mention of Sister Panky. 
Uh, Sister Pinky lost three family members, all within a few days. One of the funerals was today in Winchester. There's another one she's going to attend Saturday in Hazard. Uh, one was Monday. And one of the ones she lost was a baby. Was a baby. And they think the baby passed from steeds. Uh, so we want to keep her in prayer. Uh, talk to her. Uh, and she was questing prep for the family. You lose three family members in a matter of days. That's devastating. Uh, so let's look to the Lord and go into prayer. Most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you for tonight's lesson. Help us as your people to gravitate to what we have read from these two verses of Scripture that will help us to grow closer to you. Help us, God, through your word, to be better persons, better servants for you and for your glory and your honor, God. I pray, God, you bless each one that is assembled here tonight in your house. Bless them name by name and one by one. Meet every need in the name of Jesus. And even those that are uh, uh, watching virtually, bless them as well, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God, I come to you with the names of all before us, God. I pray you bless Dickness Parks. Yes. Touch her body yes. with your mighty hand of healing. Yes. Touch in the name of Jesus. Yes. Touch Brother Parks. Touch his body with your mighty hand of healing. Yes. Touch and bless him as well, God. In Jesus' name we pray. God, I pray you bless Mother Gentry, God. Touch her body with your mighty hand of healing, God. Oh, God, bring strength to her, her heart, God. In the name of Jesus. Bless in a mighty and an abundant way, God. Bless Josephine Shaw. Touch her body with your mighty hand of healing. Oh, God, move mightily for her, God. Bless Linda Francis, God. Touch her body with your mighty hand of healing as well. In the name of Jesus, I pray. God, I pray you would touch Roger McDowell. Touch him with your mighty hand, God. Touch his mind, God. Bless him in a mighty and an abundant way, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Bless the Diane and family, God. Bless him in a mighty and an abundant way, God. Bless the Jackson and family, God. Bless in a mighty and an abundant way, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God. Oh, God, I pray you bless Elder Walker, God. Touch him with your mighty hand of healing, God. Bless in a mighty and an abundant way, God. Bless all caretakers, God. Give them strength. Give them energy, God, as they have care for their loved ones, God. Oh, God, continue to bless Mr. Mary, God. Continue to give her strength. Continue to give her energy, God, as well, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God. Oh, God, I pray, God, you bless bereaved families everywhere. Give comfort. Give strength. You reach what no can reach. And you touch what no one can touch. God, you do as only you can do, God. Bless the Pankey and family, God. Give comfort. Give strength, God. You reach what no can reach. And you touch what no can touch. And give the family strength, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I pray you bless God. I upcoming come and serve on Sunday, God. Be it everything be done and said. That will bring you honor and bring you glory, God. Have your way in our worship experience on Sunday morning, God. Oh, God, I pray we have the same mind, the same spirit in worship, God. Oh, God, go up and down every aisle, every pew, God, and anoint and consecrate afresh, God. That lively strength, God, lively encourage, God. You will draw us close to you, God. Saturate the room with anointing, God, and fill it with your presence, God. Oh, God, put your sacred of glory, God. Oh, God, move mightily in this house on the worship experience on Sunday morning, God. Oh, God, bless the woman who brings from the word on Sunday morning, God. Give her a fresh word, God. Oh, God, use her for your glory, your honor, God. Bless her mighty and bless her abundantly, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God. Oh, God, as we leave your house 
and go out various ways, get in every vehicle, bind every mechanical problem. Dispatch your angels. Right beside our trial, God. We pray. Trap in mercy, God. We pray. Blessings be upon your people. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name. For your glory in your son, Jesus, we pray. And we do thank you. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you, Lord keep you. This is our prayer. Until next time, the Lord say the same. Happy Thanksgiving. Blessings.